tomorrow is travel day. Alex might have picked up Giardia from the water here. Not so buenos though. I'm not feeling good. Now you're ready to drive the bus. We got a little ding. I hit something. You wanna come see your damage? Some stuff going down right outside our bus. Oh my God, that's like the National Guard and everything too. Definitely looks like they were up to no good. Bye, we'll miss you. We have less than 24 hours of being in Mexico. Buenos dias amigos. So this is gonna be one of the last few times that we're gonna be able to say buenos dias. Being one of those last days, our amigos are leaving. We were planning on leaving today with them, but we have a couple more dentist appointments to get situated, just to make sure that we are all done, good to go, nobody's got problems, we're all smiling, we're all loving life. So that'll happen in the next couple of days, and then we're out of here. Buenos dias amigos. Not so buenos though. I'm not feeling good. So we're gonna spend these next couple of days getting ourselves all packed up, situated, doing a little cleanup in here and things like that. Just to make sure we got no problems going across the border. But we're gonna say bye to our amigos. Touch fingers. We are Danderson. <laughs> Go Super Saiyan. Ready? Go Super Saiyan, bro. I love your secret handshake. Alex is following. Doing a little uh, mechanic diagnostic just to make sure everything's good to go. Bye, we'll miss you. No mas amigos. Amigos went back to the Estados Unidos, right? We'll see him soon. Yeah, man. Okay, so today is a Sunday, which means it's a reset day and the kids are doing an extreme deep dive. One, because we can't find the Nintendo Switch anywhere and I'm pretty sure the culprit is Hadley because she likes to take it into her bed and play. I'm pretty sure she was the last one to use it, so she's looking for it, but this dived into a huge deep clean. So underneath the room, they have something called their forever hole. So sometimes toys get dropped in on the back side of the bed and they get lost forever until sometimes when we pull all the stuff out, like the bed and all the things, and they can get underneath it. So that's what they're doing now, but their room, trashed, like mega trashed. How's it coming back here, guys? Good. Good, what did you find so far? Of course, you look how cute it is. Oh, wow, okay. I was giving it back. Oh, and you, what do you find, in Legos? Yeah. Nice, so the toys fall back there, and they get stuck there. Okay, what happened, what'd you find? This card is worth like a hundred dollars. You put a card in there? Yeah, I, I was, it was one of my rarest cards and I've lost it for like a year. I can't open it. Ugh. It's Use my Dialga. Nice. Dude. What is it? It's my Dialga. Wait, there's a card behind it. There's a card behind it, okay. <gasps> Bro, it's a gold. Can I see? Golden okay. Shadow Rider Cataracts. No way, bro. Dude, so, how these much is... together are like a hundred dollars. I'm not kidding. See if there's any more valuable things you got down there, dude. So today is Sunday. Today is the rest day. Also, Memorial Weekend. But I expect the beach to get populated with all kinds of people because that's what they do here. And look, our neighbors, our neighbors got themselves a bounce house. They like to run their generator 24-7. Which is fine, doesn't, know, doesn't bother us, you know, cause like a little bit of noise, but they keep it on and like that bounce house is open till like 10 o'clock at night. It's a 24 hour bounce house. It's very revolutionary. Like any kid, they can go jump on the bounce house any time of night. Yep. Cause that generator be running. It be running. Running. Okay, so we're on our way to the store, going to pick up a few things, but I had to drop some trash off. And I see this little thing sitting here. Makes me wonder if Ashley would want it because we could always clean it out. We could put some other stuff in there. I feel like it might be kind of cool. And she really likes plants, stuff for the bus, all that. <laughs> okay, so she thought I was gonna take it. I mean, I am technically taking it. I'm not stealing it. It's here. It looks like it's being thrown away. So let's put it on the bike. I'll bring it back. I'll drop it off to her. And then we'll go to the store. Back it up there, bud. I love it. It's super cute, but um, who'd you steal it from? 
I didn't steal it. It was sitting on the side of the dumpster. We can repurpose this maybe for like empty it and get it prepared for other plants or maybe even like seashell stuff. Yeah, I feel like it can be like then our Baja thing. More. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I just think if we now we if we got a holder for all our treasures now we can get even more. I'm so freaking excited right now because we're at the number one burger place and I know what I'm getting. The classic uh, fire. All right. I'm gonna get the same thing just with a lemon on it. You're big and big. I can't. I'm so stoked. I can't. The number one burger? What could be better? Right on the outside, it does say number one burger on it. So that's why we're here. So yeah. we'll let's see. This is the first time I'm trying tahini, and it's on fries. And I tried it, and it's good. Nice. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Definitely number one. Definitely number one. My hands up too. That was muy delicioso. Guys, look at, look at this car. That's daddy's first car. I drove around a white Cavalier. And that's how you won me over. Was my sweet Cavalier. Your sweet ride, yeah. yeah. Was she the gold digger? <laughs> yeah, she saw that Cavalier and she's like, I gotta lock him up. Is mommy a gold digger? What does that mean? It means the person that only falls in love with you is if you have cool stuff. Really? If you're not cool, they're like Karens. They're like Karens? <laughs> oh if you have a trash, you call them like, oh, get a life, dude. <laughs> really? Do you think that's mommy? No. No? Okay. It is 1 a.m. And we were just woken up. And the police are here. They're right there. I don't know how well you can see. I don't know what's going on. It's the middle of the night. Um, I'm really tired. But there's some stuff going down right outside our bus with the police. So the campground security is also out there with the police. They're all like up front here. I do not know what is going down. Oh my God, that's like the National Guard and everything too. I don't want them to see me. Because they were over by the boat. I'm wondering if there were some people doing some like illegal fishing. Yeah, I think there's some sort of sketchy fishing going on here. In the middle of the night? Because that boat was not there when we went to bed. Good morning, everybody. It is I starting the vlog today. It's me and I have both kids with me. Oh, look good. Yeah. We are walking on the Malacan. We are on a mission. So we actually think that Alex might have picked up Giardia from the water here. We are going to get some medication that will take care of that and hopefully he will be getting back to normal feeling great because we actually are leaving tomorrow so we have a pretty intense travel day we've got campground reservations that we've already paid for and we don't if you guys know us or you've been watching for a while we don't typically pay for campgrounds so this is a big deal to us you remember from an earlier vlog how they said this is where you go when you have issues we're at a place and it's for your issues and stuff. Oh. For your issues and stuff? Because daddy has a big issue, huh, Happy? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Package secured. Yeah. It's in here. One of the cool things about being in Mexico is they have a bunch of medications over the counter. You can just go into any one of the several pharmacies on any street and just pick up whatever you need. There's 30 tablets in here, so it should be more than enough to treat him. And then if, because reoccurrence is actually kind of a common thing, if it should happen to come back, I grabbed a second one just in case. The downside to being in Mexico is all of it's in Spanish. So when I went to ask for it, she didn't know what I was saying because I was saying the English version. So I just kind of showed her a screenshot that I took on my phone. This is the Spanish version. Hopefully he will be feeling much better very soon. Buenos dias amigos. Not so buenos though. 
today because I'm not feeling good. I think I may have got a stomach bug, maybe like Giardia, I don't really know, which is wild. We've been here for like three months and I've been fine this whole time, but today it's kicking me in the butt. Well, actually like the past couple of days, but Ashley went out and got me some medicine. So I'm gonna go take that. And she also made me some rice. Boom, gotta pack everything up. Cause at this point we have less than 24 hours of being in Mexico. We're hoping by this time tomorrow, we are gonna be well into like Arizona. Cause on vlogs, it looks nice. You know, like, hey, this is muy, Girl, muy beautiful. Kind of Mexican beach. I mean, what more could you ask for besides Ooh. not being sweltering hot? Right, <laughs> you know, but uh, it's extremely hot. It's like 90, like three degrees every single day and we're ready to get some cooler weather. So rest up, fluids, medicine, rice, out of here. That's the game plan, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Fellow RV wives, it's for a time like this that it's very important that you know how to drive your rig. I hit something. And do all the things that the husbands normally do, like dump, fill, pack up the outside. We need to leave tomorrow first thing, so we need to pack everything up, all of this. We need to dump and fill tonight because at 5 a.m. we are rolling out of here. And if Alex still needs to sleep, I'm gonna drop Bertha, so. You gotta op just open the door. Nope, the door. Oh, oh that's easy, you just pull this Hold the hand, up. yep. Okay. There we go, that's it. And I gotta go inside and turn the key. She's One and done her. <laughs> Gotta wait for the buzzing to stop, but yeah. she has started. Now you're ready to drive the bus. Yeah, buddy. Flip it. Now it's in high idle. Okay, okay. And we keep it in high idle to let it air up the airbags and all the stuff. Once the buzzing stops, we're ready to go. What do you think about mommy driving the bus? I, uh, I, for some reason, my body thinks that boys are better drivers. Oh, what? I don't know where you're at on that on that back tire. You're gonna want to start to straighten out now. The bus is all you right now. Nice and smooth. smooth no smooth motions. I'm trying. <laughs> Muy bien, muy bien. It's not okay! I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, now start straightening it. While you're going back, while you're going back. Straighten it, straighten it, straighten it, straighten it. Okay. Okay, so not bad for our first time. We got a little ding, a little bit of a scratch. Yeah. I hit something. Well, yeah, I, I, I was saying like to go straight, like straighten the wheels and come straight and you went back and like I had already- I thought you meant you straight to... back. You didn't say straight forward. It's okay. Like Bertha's birth been through some stuff. <laughs> has to be in. It's okay. You want to come see your damage? No. You sure? You want to sign it? No. Sign it. Oh no. Those rocks right there. I think this is what you scratched. Oh. Hey, good job, baby. Okay, you did it. I barely did it. I, you know, there were stuffs that were made, things happened. Okay, so I didn't get to update about the whole police situation, but this guy is standing outside our window. Now he's the security guard. There is actually 24 hour security at this campground, which is really great, really nice. He was just looking for and talking to this guy over here. He was just talking to this guy. Now my Spanish is not good enough to know what was being said, but I just feel like there's been this boat that's been showing up on this beach randomly. And Declan said he saw this guy like kind of putting the boat up here. I wonder, a couple videos back, we found this 
fish that was dead washed up on the beach and come to find out it's actually worth a lot of money on the black market since this boat has been showing up here and the police were here last night and there's been like some shady characters messing with this boat that I've never seen before. We found a fishing net out on our walk this morning out on the beach. I'm wondering, are these people trying to catch this illegal fish and sell it on the black market? Okay, so now this guy just went in the water fully clothed. What is going on? And I don't think it's a coincidence that the police were just here last night and they were out by the water right there. To add to the weirdness, it looks like there's some other guys literally just floating out there. What are they doing? Okay, so it looks like he's got a fish net. Yeah, I think there's some sort of sketchy fishing going on here. Okay, so the dude's buddies that were out there floating are back up. He did just like bring something up on the beach, but I can't really see it. There's the guys that were out there fishing. Oh yeah, they have like spears and everything. I think they were trying to like spear a tilt -a Definitely looks like they were up to no good. I wonder what's in the bag. Tomorrow is travel day, hopefully. So we're getting all the things situated now. But we decided to move spots a little bit. This last little bit that we're gonna be on the beach, because we have literally the entire thing to ourselves, we're like, we're gonna just spread out a bit. Bertha, she's big. She wants some room to spread her legs. What do you mean by that? So we installed screens on the bus, and as you can see, it's going very well. Berkeley here loves to pop his face out. Don't you, bud? Where'd he go? Well, that's good. He was poking his head out. Not doing what he's supposed to do. He'll come back out. <laughs> 